Today's phrase of the day is Mood Whiplash. Because what better way is there to follow up talking about Pokemon than by talking about one of the most messed up and violent games on the PS2, Twisted Metal Black. Jesus Christ is this game dark, and not just with the lighting. This is probably the darkest the series has gotten, as replacing our usual cast is a group of patients in a goddamn mental asylum. This game really puts the Twisted into Twisted Metal, and honestly, I kind of love it. While classic cars like Mr. Grimm, Yellow Jacket, Spectre, and Darkseid all return, each of their drivers has a backstory that wouldn't seem out of place in a horror movie. Let's see, Mr. Grimm is a Vietnam War veteran turned cannibal after he was forced to ease friend and survive, Bloody Mary is basically a bride-themed slasher villain, Dollface is a girl locked inside a mask and who's gone insane from the isolation, and Mr. Kane is the corpse of a man remote controlled by his ten-year-old son. I love the shit amount of messed up creativity here, these guys should have been making horror movies. As for the gameplay, it's honestly pretty good, and it's aged remarkably well for a game made in 2001. All vehicles are a blast to control, with even the slower vehicles controlling smoothly, and it's surprisingly well balanced as you have your literal tanks, your glass cannons, and everything in between, with all sorts of weapons that we take out your opponents, ranging from rockets, machine guns, fuel cans, and that's not even beginning to mention the unique special weapons for each vehicle that really need to be experienced firsthand. Even better, certain levels have secret environmental attacks and feature a lot of destructible scenery, with some even being able to cause damage to opponents like the Ferris wheel in the suburbs level. And in the fact that the majority of levels are fairly open within secrets tucked away, which by the way include unlockable characters, and you have quite an enjoyable game despite how dark it is.